Hey, what's up, guys? Alpha here. Uh, today, I'm going to be tackling Sandalphon Descended. Um, and one thing you'll notice is that I'm not running a typical Urn team here because this is a no dupe dungeon, uh, meaning you can't have any duplicate monsters. So I went with the best and most natural choice, which is Awoken Shiva as a friend lead here. So the team is pretty uh, typical, otherwise, it's my Urn, Zhao Zhao. Uh, Awoken Hino Kagutsuchi, Minerva, an Echidna, who's very key, and uh, Shiva. So, with Shiva, he has a base multiplier uh, of attack, and then it, it increases starting at 4 combos up to 6 combos. So you always want to be aiming for a 6 combo when possible. Um, that's how you're going to get the highest multiplier. Um, anyways, let's jump in here. So... I've got these, uh, the, there's unicorns, they don't have a lot of hit points, uh, 376,000, they don't hit for a lot, and they'll just change some random stuff into light, so I got my orbs changed on me, and I decided um, I was done uh, uh, messing with them, I popped a Minerva and took them right out. So there goes stage one, very simple stage, um, not too difficult. So stage two, now we're facing uh, Sanctuary Guardian something or other. She changes random orb type to jammer. So of course she changed my fire orb. So um, uh, it's kind of a pain to have that happen. But again, you know, at this point I can just clear stuff off. I had uh, my, my phone screen turned off right there. That's what happened. It wasn't a glitch with the video. Um, and one thing about this, there's a lot of fast forwarding. I actually had a, a friend who used to play pad watch me go through this. So I was explaining some stuff about the dungeons and new uh, game mechanics. So I've got a bunch of fast forwarding in between turns. But um, anyways, uh, obviously here I'm just trying to clear stuff off and uh, kind of luck my way into uh, some sky falls that I'm pretty sure just take, uh, take her out. Yeah, there we go. Um, and going on to stage three, you get a random angel here. And the one that I really didn't want to face actually was Gabriel because, uh, you know, I'd rather not go against a blue uh, element. But uh, Michael can be a bit of a pain, but Echidna totally negates any danger that Michael might bring you. So he does ascending attack starting at 3,000, 6,000, then 12,000, then he kills you. Um, so basically, as long as you clear off, you got to ping him down. Um, I, I was thinking here I might be able to break his defense, which is 600,000. Uh, did not do a big enough combo, and, you know, doing the four, four combo was not big enough to uh, get to 600,000. I didn't want to, um, use any sort of active to create more red orbs. So basically, he'll bind up your leaders at that point. So, what you need to do now, he has three turns of status shield left. He has four right at the beginning. So, you pretty much stall him out, um making sure to heal up when needed, and ping him right down. Then, before he does his large attack, which is the 50,000 kill shot, um, his status shield will wear off, and you just pop an echidna. It's pretty simple. This guy used to give me fits until I figured out that I can very simply just stall him because his status shield doesn't last very long. It's not one of those 99-turn status shields that you encounter often in the game now. Um... So you can see, there was his 12,000 attack, so now I delay with Echidna. Um, I can continue pinging and healing, it's not really a big deal here. Um, and uh, I think this uh, just about takes him out. Okay, so the next turn I'll take him out. And, you know, the good thing is, obviously, you have time to get actives back up. Um... And he really just doesn't pose any danger, as long as you could heal back up from the first couple attacks. So stage four here, this is uh, Raphael, and he's got uh, two and a half million hit points, and he does nothing for five turns. He absorbs dark, so obviously you want to, um, you know, it wouldn't be a good time to uh, hit with a bunch of dark attacks. So I actually change away from my darks, and I'm able to uh, create... A, uh, I think I'm shooting for a double TPA here. Yeah, if I just swoop right on down through using that blue, I could um, create the TPA looping back up and bring the red orbs around. I could get a decent uh, combo there. And I think that's exactly what I do. And I hit him for a decent amount of damage, which kind of makes um, the rest of the run here not too difficult. You know, got a five, didn't quite get up to the six, but you'll see two TPAs and a five. There we go. It does quite a bit of damage. If he's got two and a half, I just did about. 
uh, probably a little under one and a half million right there on that one turn. So I've got four turns to do the remainder of the damage. It's really uh, nothing too difficult. Again, I kind of get to stall enough that my skills are all up. You know, my, my uh, Minerva will be back up soon. Um, I just kind of thing him up a bit. I make sure I heal up. Um, not taking it too lightly. You know, I don't want to wait too long before I uh, go for the attacks here. But um, it's really just a damage check. You know, can you do two and a half million in five turns? That's about it. Um, and I guess did you bring a, a dark a dark team as well? Um, I do find is it right here? Yeah, I think right here. I realized you know what? <laughs> it's getting a little closer than I'd like. So I'll go ahead and. Uh, Pop my Hinokagusuchi. Um, not ideal, but you know, I, I was pretty sure. Um, I know what I'm gonna do for the last stage. I've got my Urd up. I got my Zazo up. I got my my Shiva up. So that should be enough to deal with uh, Sandalphon. Um, so at this point, I'm just making sure I make a decent combo. I've got the eight red orbs. So definitely shooting for two TPAs here. And um, other than that, I mean, that, that should pretty much be a wrap. Two TPAs, combo up. Um, there we go, making some vertical uh, TPAs. And was not the, um, the best combo, but I did have a couple Cascades set up in there. So that takes care of that. I think I got five on my own and maybe a, a Skyfall. Okay, so now we're at Sentinel Font. So right here is where I got lucky. I was in with a 60% uh, skill bind resist team, which is not horrible, but really under 80, you're completely gambling. I mean, obviously, ideally, you're at 100% skill bind resist when you're dealing with uh, a boss that is going to be binding you up for a few turns. Um, he can be a little tricky because he's got that skill bind, um, and then under 50%, he'll bind any god cards for 10, 10 turns. So that'll pretty much be game over. Um, but if somehow that does not affect you, he hits for a decent amount, 23,000 under 30%. So for this current team, that would be a kill shot. Um, so right now I'm just kind of trying to figure out exactly uh, if I'm going to be able to make enough combos with the amount of hearts on the board combined with changing all of those blue orbs into red orbs. Um, I did have a decent amount of red orbs on there, but uh, at this point I'm pretty much just uh, committing to going for the kill shot. So using um, Shiva, I get to uh, enhance all the orbs here because he enhances fire and heal. And um, I, I have a defense break and a delay. So I do have at least one last shot if I completely botch this. Um, so I go through and make my one TPA off on the side. Uh, with four combos, I Skyfall into a fifth one, which boosts up the attack nicely, and that takes out Send Alphon. Um, really not too tricky of a uh, descend. That was my first time actually clearing it. I had tried once before, um, I don't know, m many, many levels earlier and wasn't able to do it, but it's not that tricky when you're going with, with a pretty skilled up team. And again, the Echidna kind of bails you out there, um, whether you're having trouble doing all the damage to Raphael or... Uh, you need to stall out for Michael. Uh, definitely comes in handy. Thanks to Scrubby for uh, his hypermax uh, Shiva. Um, hopefully you guys like that. Uh, as you can see, Urd is really capable of clearing a bunch of the descends. Not some of the newer super end game descends, but you can do quite a bit with Urd. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. I'll be coming out with a lot more uh, descend clears, um, a few tutorials, and some rem pulls. Enjoy. See you next time.